first goal is huge for us. We really start great. You know, you can see a little bit of nerves and the door was on us. We had a great safety and we could get short handed goal. So kind of let us breathe a little bit. Um, but after that, next man up, whoever's turn it is, and we, we've had that already. Like Alex Martinez, Alec Martinez only scores in the Stanley Cup finals again. So, and, and, and what a timely goal that is. So now you got defensemen pitching in that you know, are more stay at home, defensive minded guys. Nick A, you know, so. That's been our story this year. It's been a, I don't say next man up, because that's such a cliche, but it has been about the team. It's been about the team, no matter who's in the lineup. Um, yeah, you know, right to the bitter end for them. I think, you know, Marshy got the con smack. It could have been a lot of different guys. Not one guy carried this team. I thought everybody did their part, and I'm happy for Marshy, so he deserved it. It could have been a lot of different guys, and that's the story of our year. Left side, second row. Danny Webster, Las Vegas, signed in first. Congratulations, first of all. Thanks, man. Um, obviously, I don't. I think it does without explaining why you decided to start the five that you did tonight to start the game. But just, I guess, when did you decide on that? And kind of, what was the reaction in the room when you made that call? My, my dog's getting dragged into this again. But I was walking my dog earlier <laughs> today, as we spoke about, you know, thinking of different things, and, and I thought, you know, it'd be a good way to get the guys' attention and reward the guys that were the original, you know, laid the foundation for this hockey team. I, t I told I apologize to Will Carrier. Can only start one left winner, so um, and I thought it'd be nice and see if it, you know, give us a little juice. And whether it did or not, I don't know, but they deserved it. And I think the guys respect that. They gave them, the, the, you know, they got past the cup first, um, and rightfully so. And I think they're going to enjoy it. We're all going to enjoy it, but for them, it means a little more, right? They were they were in the final their first year, and they get a chance to go back. And as I said, guys that kind of laid their roots down here and have done a great job in the community, building Golden Knights in the brand and in hockey in the area. So, not good for that. On the left side, third row, third row. CJ Feldman, the NHL Icon of National. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, you see the, the players on the ice after the families, friends, etc. It's clear that it takes a village to win. It also includes seeing guys like the Black Aces of, of Pantera, who's making an impact to the extent that he can. How special is it for those guys and the contributions that they make? Well, listen, they feel good about themselves. Um, I, in 2011 with the Bruins, I had all those extra guys. So I know what it's like. You're on the ice, and you feel great, you're part of it, but you're not in the trenches, but you are a part of the team. Every guy that wore a, a Golden Knights sweater this year helped us get here, including, you know, you, you, you mentioned Pateri, he went to a hockey game for us, you know? So if he doesn't, do we finish first? You know, do we get home? You know, there's a lot that goes into it. Little details along the way. Pab scored a lot of big goals for us. Paul Cotter, I think, had 13 goals. He played a lot for us. Phil, there's a lot of different guys that go into it. Huddy and uh, Pahal played in uh, the Winnipeg series. So we're, we're thankful we didn't have to use a lot of our guys because of injury, but they were right there. And they, they put their hard. They gave up a lot of their time. They're still here, you know. So um, it's a bit of a thankless job while you're going through it if you're not playing, but now it's all worth it, right? You're a champion. So good for those guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple more questions, right hey, side. Hey Bruce, Derek Randy, NHL.com. Um, just going back to Jonathan Rush. So I know early on in the, in the playoffs, I know when he was an advocate, he was frustrated because he, he wasn't finding the net. But I just want to ask you about him sticking to that and eventually the goals coming and, and doing what he did in, in basically second half. Inside presence, I think it was game three up there. He scored two goals, Jack got him on the top of the crease on a tip, and I think there's another one very similar. So. Against Winnipeg, he, he wasn't getting to those areas. He was relying on his shot, and he slowly got there. And he got rewarded. He got rewarded, and then all of a sudden it snowballed. I mean, the clinching game, he got, he got a hat trick, but one was at the top of the crease. I know one was on the elbow, but, you know, he started working inside a lot more. And, uh, between him and Barbashev going to the net, and with a guy like Jack to draw people, he turned out to be a really effective line because of that. So good for him. He figured it out. Uh, didn't get, it didn't affect the rest of his game. And, it's on a roll, and I think there's stories every year when you, you know, when you win the cup of guys that get hot. You know, we, we were, listen, I'm going back in time here, but I was talking to Krim, but I said, remind me of Reggie Leach back in the day for the Flyers, and just a guy that was just hot, and um, you know, he helped us. One more question, right side. Coach, congratulations, Eddie Rifkin, Hockey Nights in Vegas. I don't know if you know that tomorrow is actually one year exactly since you signed your contract to come here to Vegas. I'm you, going to celebrate. <laughs> I, I <wonder> <laughs> reflect a little bit about your year. 
Well, listen, at first there's, you know, you're leaving a spot, you've been, it's been home here for a long time, right? So it's tough on your family. Um, built a lot of solid relationships there. You know, people I still keep in touch with, but new adventure, we, we looked at it and get, once everyone was settled in, I thought it was terrific. Um, you know, it turns out, you know, it could be the best thing that ever happened to me in my career. I mean, we win the Stanley Cup, right? Great group of guys, new, new challenges, come in fresh with uh, players I didn't know at all, so it was a, you know, you have to start relationship building, and I think that's important in this job. So, family gets settled in, they love it here. Nothing but good, great things to say about summer and, uh, and then the hockey team. So, um, nobody lasts in one spot forever. So, like I said, once we get settled in, it's been terrific. Uh, it's been a hell of a year, like I said. I think everyone plays the game to get the name of the cup, and they're able to do it. And I was able to do it my first year. And like I said, I'm very thankful and grateful that you know, I ended up here and with, you know, with Bill Foley. Uh, George found it that could be a guy to Thank you for your time, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations.